The golden eagle is a bird of prey living in the northern hemisphere. It is the most widely distributed species of eagle. Like all eagles, it belongs to the family Achipotridae. Golden eagles are unsocial. They don't tolerate other eagles near their loot. One of them is driven away in the end even though there is enough food for both of them. They are one of the best known birds of prey in the northern hemisphere. These birds are dark brown, with lighter golden brown plumage on their napes. Males weigh from 2.8 to 4.6 kilograms, in averaging 3.69 kilograms, and the females weigh from 3.8 to 6.7 kilograms. The male of this subspecies has a wingspan of 1.89 to 2.15 meters, with an average of 2.02 meters. Golden eagles use their agility and speed combined with powerful feet and large, sharp talons to hunt a variety of prey, mainly hares, rabbits, and marmots and other ground squirrels. Golden eagles maintain home ranges or territories that may be as large as 200 kilometers square. They build large nests in cliffs and other high places to which they may return for several breeding years. Most breeding activities take place in the spring. They are monogamous and may remain together for several years or possibly for life. Golden eagles build nests on cliffs or in the largest trees of forested areas that give them an unobstructed view of their surroundings. They tend to avoid nesting in densely forested habitat. They build their nests out of sticks shaped to create flat or bowl-shaped platforms. Breeding pairs usually lay two eggs per year, but sometimes lay only one or as many as four. These juvenile golden eagles usually attain full independence in the fall, after which they wander widely until establishing a territory for themselves in four to five years. For centuries, this species has been one of the most highly regarded birds used in falconry. Because of its hunting prowess, the golden eagle is regarded with great mystic reverence in some ancient, tribal cultures. It is one of the most extensively studied species of raptor in the world in some parts of its range, such as the western United States and the western Palearctic. This subspecies occurs in almost the entirety of the Iberian Peninsula as well as the island of Crete, though it is absent from the rest of continental Europe. It also ranges in North Africa in a narrow sub-coastal strip from Morocco to Tunisia. A completely isolated population of golden eagles is found in Ethiopia's Bale Mountains. At the southern limit of the species range worldwide, this subspecies is distributed in central Kazakhstan, eastern Iran, and the easternmost Caucasus, distributed to Manchuria and central China and along the Himalayas from northern Pakistan to Bhutan and discontinuing in northeastern Myanmar. When we try to see the collar of this golden eagle, Adults of both sexes have similar plumage and are primarily dark brown, with some gray on the inner wing and tail, and a paler, typically golden color on the back of the crown and nape that gives the species its common name. Unlike other aquila species, where the tarsal feathers are typically similar in color to the rest of the plumage, the tarsal feathers of golden eagles tend to be paler, ranging from light golden to white. In addition, some full-grown birds have white epaulets on the upper part of each scapular feather tract. The bill is dark at the tip, fading to a lighter horn color, with a yellow sear. As in many achipotrids, the bare portion of the feet is yellow. There are subtle differences in coloration among subspecies. Juvenile golden eagles are similar to adults but tend to be darker, appearing black on the back especially in East Asia. They have a less faded color. Young birds are white for about two-thirds of their tail length, ending with a broad, black band. Occasionally, juvenile eagles have white patches on the remiges at the bases of the inner primaries and the outer secondaries, forming a crescent marking on the wings which tends to be divided by darker feathers. Rarely, juvenile birds may have only traces of white on the tail. Compared to the relatively consistently white tail, the white patches on the wing are extremely variable. Some juveniles have almost no white visible. Juveniles of less than 12 months of age tend to have the most white in their plumage. By their second summer, the white underwing coverts are usually replaced by a characteristic rusty brown color. By the third summer, the upper wing coverts are largely replaced by dark brown feathers, although not all feathers molt at once which leaves many juvenile birds with a grizzled pattern. The tail follows a similar pattern of maturation to the wings. Due to the variability between individuals, juvenile eagles cannot be reliably aged by sight alone. Many golden eagles still have white on the tail during their first attempt at nesting. The final adult plumage is not fully attained until the birds are between five and a half and six and a half years old. Now let's move on vocalizations. Golden eagles are often silent. While many achipotrids are not known for their strong voices, golden eagles have a particular tendency for silence, even while breeding. 
That being said, some vocalization has been recorded, usually centering around the nesting period. The voice of the golden eagle is considered weak, high, and shrill, has been called quite pathetic and puppy-like, and seems incongruous with the formidable size and nature of the species. Most known vocalizations seem to function as contact calls between eagles, sometimes adults to their offspring, occasionally territorial birds to intruders, and rarely between a breeding pair. In western Montana, nine distinct calls were noted. Let's see flight mood of this amazing golden eagle. Golden eagles are sometimes considered the best flyers among eagles and perhaps among all raptorial birds. They are equipped with broad, long wings with somewhat finger-like indentations on the tips of the wing. Golden eagles are unique among their genus in that they often fly in a slight dihedral, which means the wings are often held in a slight, upturned V-shape. When they need to flap, golden eagles appear at their most labored, but this is less common than soaring or gliding. Flapping flight usually consists of six to eight deep wing beats, interspersed with two to three second glides. While soaring, the wings and tail are held in one plane with the primary tips often spread. Their typical, unhurried soaring speed in golden eagles is around 45 to 52 kilometers per hour. When hunting or displaying, the golden eagle can glide very fast, reaching speeds of up to 190 kilometers per hour. When stooping in the direction of prey or during territorial displays, the eagle holds its legs up against its tail and holds its wings tight and partially closed against its body. When diving after prey, a golden eagle can reach 240 to 320 kilometers per hour. Although less agile and maneuverable, the golden eagle is apparently quite the equal and possibly even the superior of the peregrine falcon's stooping and gliding speeds. This makes the golden eagle one of the two fastest living animals. Although most flight in golden eagles has a clear purpose, some flights, such as those by solitary birds or between well-established breeding pairs, seem to be play. Distinguishing the golden eagle from other aquila eagles in Eurasia is more difficult. Identification may rely on the golden eagle's relatively long tail and patterns of white or gray on the wings and tail. Unlike golden eagles, other aquila eagles do not generally fly in a pronounced dihedral. At close range, the golden to rufous nape shawl of the golden eagle is distinctive from other aquila. Most other aquila eagles have darker plumage, although the smaller tawny eagle is often paler than the golden eagle. Among Eurasian aquila, the adult Eastern Imperial and Spanish Imperial eagle come closest to reaching the size of golden eagles, but both are distinguished by their longer necks, flatter wings in flight, white markings on their shoulder forewing coverts, paler cream straw-colored nape patch and generally darker coloration. Juvenile imperial eagles are much paler overall and are not likely to be confused. Steppe eagles can also approach golden eagles in size but are more compact and smaller headed with little color variation to their dark earth brown plumage. Apart from juvenile birds which have distinctive cream colored bands running through their coverts and secondaries, Varroa's eagles are most similar in size and body shape to the golden. The body of the Varroa's eagle being slightly longer overall but marginally less heavy and long winged than the golden eagles. The plumage is very distinctly different, however, as Varroa's eagles are almost entirely jet black except for some striking, contrasting white on the wing primaries, shoulders, and upper wing. This closely related species is known to co-occur with the golden eagle only in the Baal Mountains of Ethiopia. Other booted eagles in the golden eagle's range are unlikely to be confused due to differences in size and form. The only species in the genus Aquila that exceeds the golden eagle in average wingspan and length is the wedge-tailed eagle of Australasia. However, the wedge-tailed eagle is a slightly less heavy bird, 